They're the signal flags of approaching summer. I love them. I think they're really pretty. And each year, pear trees, the spring queens of the floral pageant. They're really white and they're really pretty. And but what's not well known is among the beauty, there's an ugly reality. I had no idea. I agree they're beautiful to look at, but they're also a really big problem for our environment. University of Cincinnati biologist Dr. Teresa Culley is considering a math problem. Multiplying pear trees, taking over fields, and killing out other plants. Well, you'll see the trees because of their bright, you know, white flowers, but in the understory, there's actually many more saplings and seedlings just getting started. Dr. Culley should know she's the scientist who discovered what went wrong. Pear trees like Bradford's were developed and recommended because they weren't supposed to cross pollinate to create new trees. And they didn't until other types of pears were introduced. Then the plants acted like rabbits. Now there are so many they're classified as an invasive species. This is really the law of unintended consequences. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Joe Boggs is a professor with OSU Extension Services. They seem to be everywhere. <laughs> they are everywhere and I think probably the first thing is let's stop contributing to the problem. So stop buying and planting them. That so people who love the tree that looks more like a decorated float in the sheep parade will have to remember this is a problem in sheep's clothing. Proving a tree both beauty and bully is quite a pair. Now getting rid of these trees isn't quite as easy as just cutting them down. They have a tenacious root system, almost impossible to kill. If you have an entire field of these things, they can be very expensive to remove. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. All right, so Brian, quick question for you. Are these wild growing pear trees any different than the ones we plant? Uh, this is really interesting. Uh, one of the most popular is the Bradford pear. Now, every Bradford pear, there's really only one. Every other one is a genetic clone. It has the exact same DNA. These wild ones are basically some kind of zombie uh, concoction of several other kinds of pears, so they aren't the same, and they aren't even sure of the environmental impact that these might bring in future years. Sheree? All right, Brian Hamrick reporting for us. So many people are going to be uh, disappointed because, uh, you know, everybody loves them. They really are so beautiful. Brian Hamrick reporting live for us. Brian, thanks for the information.